On Dancing with the Stars, there was a little bit of a twist. Hines and Chelsea, the top scorers from the previous week, got to choose their teams for a group dance. Although both of them did well, it ended up being a tie score from the judges. So it just goes to show you that all the contestants are on equal playing field. Until it got down to the individual performances, where my man Hines came out again with the top scoring performance. I gotta say he's my favorite. I'm the girl from Pittsburgh. Go Hines. Hines Award has always been saying throughout this whole process, my goal is just to make it to the top three. So hopefully he does that, and uh, I want to know what you guys think. Who's going to make it into the top three? I haven't talked much about Kendra, and she's hanging in there through all these weeks. She was told that she was an equal balance of elegant and sexy, but yet still only scored a 31 out of 40. Unfortunately for Kendra, all her efforts just weren't quite enough. See you later, Kendra. I, I've lasted seven weeks. I mean, seven weeks longer than I ever thought I would last. I'm not the best dancer, but I am the best mom, and I'm coming home. and. I, I'm back to being a mom. <laughs>